Hi, my name is Tony Brown. I'm a personal trainer and I offer cardio and strength building programs as well as nutrition plans tailored for you. Let me help you make health and fitness a lifestyle. Email me at alphabodies925 at gmail.com for more details. Visit my website at alphabodies925.com. Follow me on Instagram at alphabodies925. The first 25 emails will either get my cardio program or strength building program for free. Nutrition plan not included. Don't wait to get in shape. Start now. Game Kings, the definition of game. Documentary, coming soon. All right, so I'm about to read you guys a comment by someone named Justin Cuevas. I think that's how you pronounce his name. And I've done this type of video before, and and, and I think I keep needing to do this video because guys still don't get it because I'm starting to think guys don't care about wasting their time. I'm starting to think that I'm starting to think guys have so much time on their hands and they just don't care about wasting it because, um, you know, dudes always talking about being on a purpose and doing all this other shit. You know, you, you need time for all that, right? So what this video is about is about confirming the dates when you are setting up dates with women, right? And I've talked about this before. So for example, let's say you set a date for seven o'clock on Saturday with a chick, right? And let's say you texted her on Wednesday to set this date for Saturday, right? So now either Friday night or Saturday morning, you say, hey, are we still on for Saturday at seven at so-and-so place, right? Now, you have to say those, those four words, are we still on, okay? Now I'm gonna read this, this, this comment because I get this type of comment uh, a lot and I'm just like you know I can tell see I can tell when when guys don't deal with a lot of women because they say things that it, it, it sounds it sounds cute it sounds cool but no you understand so I'm gonna read this so it says uh, this is simply a beta male thing to do Confirm the day or of or even the day before with I'll be picking you up around seven looking forward to seeing you or just a looking forward to seeing you tonight. If she wants to go on the date, she will respond. You don't have to literally ask her if the date is still happening. It communicates you are worried if uh, you were worried it may not happen as this may happen to you often, and she will undoubtedly sense it. At the very least, ask, does seven still work? Because you're asking about a specific time while assuming you're still going on the date and still displaying confidence. Ask her, are we still on? And she will instinctively see you as low value when it doesn't have to be that way. If she doesn't respond, she doesn't want to go. You don't need a yes or no as you have already made the date. Guys, I'm telling you, do not do this. Do not do that other shit. Do not say, oh, I'll pick you up at seven. Look forward to seeing you or don't say looking forward to seeing you tonight or hey, there's seven. No. Look, these four words, put this on a t-shirt. Shit, I'm gonna probably have to put this on a goddamn t-shirt. Are we still on? That's all you need to say to her. Are we still on? Right? And then you add whatever the fuck you, uh, you know, uh, date and time. Are we still on for sad, you know, tonight at seven? Are we still on for tomorrow at seven at 
you know, so-and-so bar. Are we still on? Now, why do you say, are we still on? Because you actually want her to say yes or no. You need her to confirm. You need for her to say yes or no. See, if you say to a chick, let's say, okay, let's use this scenario, right? Of you supposed to go on a date with a chick Saturday at seven, right? You talk, you, you spoke to her on Wednesday, you text her, you say, hey, you know, we should meet up Saturday at seven to, uh, you know, go to the main street bar. And she's like, okay, cool, right? So let's say Saturday comes up, right? And then you say to her in the morning, you text her and you say, hey, looking forward to seeing you tonight. Right? You text her that. Looking forward to seeing you tonight. Right? Or you say, I'll pick you up around seven. Looking forward to seeing you. Now, 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 guys, now, just, just, let's just put on our thinking caps for a second. Now, what if, what if she doesn't respond to that? So it's Saturday. You say, looking forward to seeing you tonight. And she doesn't respond. Right? Now, he says in his, in his, in his, you know, comment, he says, if she wants to go on the date, she will respond. That's incorrect. That is incorrect. Because what could happen, and this actually happened to somebody I know where he said basically the same type of shit where he <laughs> he was supposed to see a girl on a date and the day of the date he said hey looking forward to seeing you tonight and she didn't respond so he figured because she didn't respond she wasn't going to show up right guess what happened he didn't go but she showed up you understand and she texted him, was like, hey, where you at? I'm at the place. What's going on? Right? And then he's like, oh, I didn't hear from you. Right? So he figured she wasn't showing up because she didn't respond to looking forward to seeing you tonight. But she actually came through. And see, this is the funny part. If you say to a girl, looking forward to seeing you tonight, and she doesn't respond, guess what? She could or could not show up because her not responding could be her not showing up. You understand? But then she could also show up because she just saw your text saying, looking forward to seeing you, and she's thinking, okay, fine, I'll, I'll just see him. But you have no idea if she's coming or not. Guess why? Because you didn't fucking ask her. Are we still on? It's that simple, guys. See, you guys are, are, are scared. You, you're too worried about looking low value. To, I don't give a fuck. Why you give a fuck about what the chick think you... <sighs> guys, what's more important to you? What the chick thinks about you or your time? Hmm? See, this is, this is, this is why dudes be, be, you know, guys, you got to just say those four words. Are we still on? Right. And then follow that with whatever you said you were going to do. Hey, are we still on for tonight at seven? Are we still on to meet up here? Right? Because you need for her to say yes or no. You need for her to say it. So you actually know that she's going to come. So you don't waste your fucking time. All this other, oh, I'll pick you up at seven, looking forward to seeing you. You go at you go pick her up at seven and she ain't there. You understand? Because see, 
what you have to understand is is that you need to ask the question to get a response when you make a statement there's nothing for her to respond to you understand so you're talking about all of this like oh well you know if you if you say to her you know hey you know are we still on that's gonna make it look like you know like you you're worried that the date's not gonna happen and then she's gonna see that listen she ain't she ain't thinking about none of that listen if a girl actually likes you right if she's interested in seeing you she's gonna come see you the reason why you ask a woman hey are we still on or are you confirming in the first place right is to make sure to see if you are dealing with a woman who actually wants to come see you right see this is the thing let's say you have girl a and girl b right let's say you have girl a and girl b now let's say girl a wants to see you girl b doesn't right if you say to girl a looking forward to seeing you tonight or hey i'll pick you up at seven i'm you know looking forward to seeing you guess what you're you're gonna still see girl a why because she likes you if you say to girl a are we still on she's gonna say yes and she's gonna come through why because she likes you now if we're dealing with girl b if you say looking forward to seeing you tonight right girl b may not respond right because you didn't ask her anything if you say to girl b hey are we still on for tonight at seven or whatever she'll most likely respond to you and be like oh some came up i don't know we can't we you understand what i'm saying but see when you say looking forward to see you tonight to girl b you still don't know if girl b is interested in you or not yet so you may still be thinking that she's going to show up you understand whether she responds or not because you didn't ask her anything to respond to so just like my friend who basically said the same thing to, to to the chick looking forward to seeing you tonight she showed up because she was girl a but he thought she was girl b you understand what i'm saying but you will know which girl you're dealing with if you just say these four fucking words are we still on click the link below and get your bad boy gear get the t-shirts submissive women are sexy binary as fuck and i'm god to these hoes click the link below to get your bad boy gear today now before you go click the link below and go to badboymembership.com now badboymembership.com is a place where you go to get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month listen i know you're tired of being rejected go to badboymembership.com i know you're tired of being afraid to approach women go to badboymembership.com I know you're tired of not getting the women that you want. Go to badboymembership.com. Listen, I know you're tired of being alone on a Friday night. Go to badboymembership.com. Now picture this. You'll go from not getting what you want when it comes to you dealing with women to actually getting what you want, to being the guy women want to be with, women want to date, women want to have sex with. All you need to do is go to badboymembership.com, follow the steps, learn the game, implement the game, and then you will get the woman you want. Make sure you go to badboymembership.com today. Click the link below.